What's going down, everybody? It's your boy Launchpad 1412 bringing you some more Madden gameplay and 13 gameplay actually. Today, I'm actually going to be against a friend, my boy Shay. Works at my job. And um, I picked the Broncos because I'm going to be using the Broncos in the um, CC League soon. And um, so I'm trying to play with them and see if I can work with them, see how good I can be with them. And uh, my opponent, my boy Shea, he picks the Saints. A um, little history between us. We actually have no history. <laughs> so um, he's very brand new to me as far as him playing on the Madden. I played a couple games of basketball with him. Pretty good basketball player. And from, from talking to him, I can tell he's an intelligent person. Um, somebody I definitely respect. Cool with. So let's see what happens. I kicked the ball off to him. I think I won the coin toss. And, uh, you know, you guys know if I win the coin toss, you guys know I'm kicking, no, I'm kicking it all. You got to watch that guy on the fourth D right there. He had a big game today. Whew. So uh, my opponent, he comes out doing a little bit, a little bit of everything, a little bit of pass, a little bit of run. They started to run off good. I think he probably should have kept running his drive, you know. Yeah, I mean, you never know what could happen. Maybe he scored. Right there, Champ Belly gets a bat down. He tested Champ Belly out a couple times this, this game. <laughs> got to be more careful with that guy. I forced him to punt, first punt of the game, and uh, I went back to the run, you know, I'm trying to run the ball a little bit more, I'm trying to go back to my 2000, 2012 style, and, and just run the ball, I mixed up a little bit with Wilson McGahee and No Sean Marino, they both had pretty decent games, No Sean Marino had a bigger game, but you know what I mean, and uh, he, he had a big, couple big plays, matter of fact, there's a lot of big plays in this game, this, this is uh, one of those big play games, so to speak, he a big play right here, even though I get the flag, it gets called back. I was so hoping the flag wasn't on me. <laughs> I don't know how I got a flag on the left side when the play was way on the right side. I'm not understanding that. But I get a big play right here with Wilson McGahee anyway. It doesn't matter. Wilson McGahee is just not fast enough to go all the way for the touchdown, though. Yeah, Marino again. Trying to do something. And right here, I'm trying to get a touchdown, of course. Right here on third down right there, I get to play to Tammy. Tammy had about five or six catches this game. I'm trying to find some way to get into that end zone. Three run right here on the goal line. And I actually end up kicking the field goal. So I'm up 3 nothing right now. I'm feeling pretty good, though. The thing of it is, I still don't know all of my opponent's offense right here at this point. So, you know, I'm still trying to figure him out. And uh, he was a pretty good player. I, I, I got respect for him. I mean, much, you know, much love, much respect. And I mean, the, the, the things he was doing... Well, it was difficult to stop at times, but not all the time. Right there, on the, I believe that was the third time I, third down I got him. But right here, check this out. He does the a punt fake and actually gets it. That's the first time I've seen somebody in about four years actually get that on me. Because I, I was actually in the punt block uh, zone coverage because I wasn't sure if he was going to punt it or not. I know usually people don't. So I, sometimes I get in that zone block <laughs> coverage on the punt um, formation just to be just to be safe. but. He ends up getting it. Right there, good touchdown, scrambling to the outside. Trying to see if he can get something open. Got the score right there. Goes up 7-3. Right here, come right back. Stifling, you know. Stubborn as usual. Yeah. Not giving up. Of course, there's no reason to give it up, give up but I just love to say that. <laughs> but coming right back, you know, hitting wide open once we get here. Going into the second half right here. There's a little, little bit of time left in the second quarter. Trying to make something happen. Trying to come down and get a field goal. Or a touchdown right here, preferably a touchdown, of course. Almost got picked off right there. I don't know why I forced that. Sometimes I just force passes for no reason. And um, I forced another one right there, and I'm getting picked off. Good pick up on his part. I thought he was going to run that back, but thankfully, <laughs> my offense was able to catch him. And he gets the ball back. Drops back right here. And then he throws a pick. And why not? You know, <laughs> people been throwing a lot of picks on me in this game. I don't mind, you know, I take all the picks I can get because <laughs> I need them, you know, just to stay uh, alive in these games. But right there, you get a nice play to Tammy. And I enough time left to try to make a touchdown run. So I go for the field goal again. It's halftime right now. The score is 7-6. Yes, it's a tight game, close game right now. And um, I, I just need to score. I'm just kind of going to try to take my time here to try to find some way to get a score. Mix my uh, game plan up a little bit. I was, doing a lot, I was doing a lot of running. I wanted to do a little something different for him. Right here, you Nelson know, Marino gets a nice play on the draw. And this time, it is not a flag. It is a touchdown. And I go up 13-7. I'll take that. He comes right back, though. Trying to do something. Oh, he does a little lob pass right there, and he gets picked off again. My second pick of the day. Uh, I didn't get a chance to run any of these picks back. You know, I really was trying. I get the ball back. 
you know, boys McGay, I go right to the run, you know. Trying to, you know, run my way in there, trying to find some way to just uh, get in there. It was tough to get in there. It was a lot tougher than what it looked, though. Right there, nice pass by Tom, I always say Tom Brady, <laughs> Peyton Manning, the Caldwell, get a nice little touchdown right there, making it 20-7. to 7. But He's coming back. Nice little run play right here. Number 43, Sproles, you got to watch that guy. Got to respect him. In fact, there's a lot of people on the Saints you got to respect. I haven't played with the Saints yet. I got to play with them one or two times. See what it's like. Woo! See that hit right there? Woo! So I love about this Madden. This one, it, the hits are crazy on this one. But you know, he, he's trying to get in. He's getting in the uh, field goal range, touchdown range, and he's trying to get in there somehow. Right there, that was a nice play right there on this part. Brilliant play right here. I believe that's on the second down, second and goal. Gets a nice little pass in there to the tight end, making the score 14 to 20. So now we, we have a game here. And, um, I'm trying to, you know, figure out what he's doing on defense. I'm starting to figure out what he's doing a little bit. But the one thing I did notice around this time that he was blitzing a whole lot, you know, and he, and he was doing a lot of bluffing. So I was trying to, you know, uh, counter that with some intelligence, but it didn't work on that drive and end up putting the ball. Let's get some opportunity to um, go up in the game, go up 21 to 20, you know, what I mean? or 22 to 20 if he goes for two. But right here, he chests out champ. Whew. Just, you, you gotta be Champ Bailey is a beast on this game I'm gonna tell you that right now He's a beast on this game You have to be careful When you throw Champ Bailey's way it, it, It's just it's just, it's just pivotal That you are careful with. If you don't, if you throw that ball right If you throw the ball and it's not right He's gonna pick that off Right here And I'll get forced upon again And he has another opportunity To go up 20-14 to 14. At this point I'm thinking I gotta come up with some Type of stop here Because if he scores, they just feel like it would just bust the game wide open. A, a, a one-point lead would feel more like a ten-point lead at this point in the game because it's difficult for both of us to score right here. But he's coming down, and I'm switching my defenses up, giving him something different to look at, you know, so he doesn't read the same thing. You know, you don't want to give Drew Brees um, the same looks. He will eat you alive with that. Right here, he gets a nice play with Darren Sproles. Sproles was such a problem this game. Very difficult to stop or contain. But right here, he throws another pick. I, I'm not sure. I'm not going to say I'm the greatest defender. But when the person picks their plays, I do try to set it up to where. I don't know that I, I could pick the most intelligent play to stop him. It, it just works sometimes. But right there, I get the big user catch. I think that's my first user catch of the year. When he threw that pass, it was a little flimsy. That was my fault. If I'd have got picked off, that'd have been all me. Speaking of picked off, there go another pick I got right there again. But if he would have got picked off on that play, that'd have been all me. Cause I shouldn't have even threw that like that. But I did that because he kept blitzing all all eight players. Well, eight of his players out of eleven on defense, so he kept blitzing them. So I wanted to get something deep to try to throw him off. Right here, you get the field goal, making it thirty to seven. But on that user catch, I ended up making a good play, and I just used a catch myself, and you know I ended up getting a touchdown. So I'm up 30 to 14 right now. I will use it every every now and then. It depends on how the play looks. I'm right there, I get another pick. I think that's my fourth pick of the game. And uh, that right there pretty much wraps the game up. And uh, you know, it's fourth quarter, end of the game. Right here, I just did it. Usually, I kneel. But this is my boy. And uh, I just did this to show him what would happen if you keep continuing leading. If you keep continuing the blitz eight tip. If you're going to blitz eight men, don't do it a whole lot, you know, because once people start to figure out what you, well, how, that you keep blitzing eight, you know, you're going to leave people wide open. But uh, shout out to my opponent. He stayed through, throughout the whole game. Much love to him. Shout out to all my subscribers. Of course, you guys know I got mad love for y'all. It's 197 of y'all. Thank you guys for being entertained by me. Thank you guys for listening. And uh, this is another another game I got for y'all. You know, I'm trying to bring as many canes as I can. So they're, they're just look out for me. Now, this is Launchpad. 14-12, and I'm out. It's been a game.